hello, welcome back. Um, another flyer has decided to send me all of her shit. I don't know why. I've never spoken to Agatha. Kill Pangoa for me, Kay. I don't think Agatha is even at war with Pan. I don't know. Why can't I have, like, all this shit being sent to me in, like, a normal game? Why is it in this weird game where I don't know what to do with gems that I get all this crap? This is so weird. 128 earth gems. Um, we currently have over 200 water gems, which is going to be great when we massively overcast Guardians of the Deep. <laughs> um, sick, but yeah, this is great. Um, thanks, Agatha. I'll, I guess I'll try and kill Pan someday. Uh, we got Conjuration research done. What are we up to at research? Oh yeah, one more level of Conjuration to go. We'll have that in two turns. And then we'll do construction. Uh, didn't find any sites anywhere, I don't think. Oh, we found one, yeah, that's right, the Copper Cliff. This is Fire Gem? Oh, and an Earth Gem, that's pretty good. Uh, that was the only site we found though. Uh, did a bunch of summons as usual, is there anything else interesting in here? Oh, there was Cure Disease, we cured Disease on our uh, Jin guy, which is good. Uh, did more summons, and then a couple of battles. So first of all we uh, stormed Wesh finally. This is Sarah's little fort. It is mostly empty. Now uh, we get to see Fire Orbs, is it called? Yeah, Fire Orbs. Um, there's a bit of overlap. It does nuke one little chunk of people though, I guess, it's something. So my ghouls just got obliterated by um, Stellar Cascades. Or something like that, I'm not sure what it was exactly. Actually, you know what? I'm going to briefly watch this again, because I want to see what that spell actually was. We're over here, and... What is that? Greater Deathly Frost. Oh, okay. That's a death spell that does cold damage, I think. Yeah, that just nukes my guys. Uh, but there we go. Brought down, temple raised. Uh, also spider battle between Pan and Arco. This is uh, the last, well, not <laughs> really here. Last end of uh, Arco. Uh, you can probably imagine how that goes. What is this lingering buff, I wonder? Ah uh, yeah, there we go, there's Dothian. Lost a bunch more main ads. Oh, that's right, it was, um... It's life after death, that's what the lingering buff was. I remember now. Yeah, so he has a couple of solos there. Uh, events then. We got luck in the Bulwark, we got water gems in Anvest, and earth gems in Trollland. That's nice. A uh, sneaking enemy was discovered by... Who was this, White Harbor? Okay, makes sense. Got a lot of stuff there. And, uh... Libertarian FDA administration, goddess of Arcocephaly, has been permanently vanquished. Uh, goodbye, Arco. Um, so here's the what. So Agatha's over here. I think he's at war with Atlantis. I'm not sure why he wants Pan dead. Maybe Pan pushed him in or something early on. And again, Arco was between them. Or is Pan somewhere else that. I'm not sure exactly. But uh, Agatha doesn't seem to like Pan, even though he's at war with Atlantis. So <laughs> that's interesting. Um, this turn's relatively simple, the big thing is just taking this throne. You might as well try moving up in thrones. Uh, throne leader is currently Pan with three, Atlantis with two. Uh, Agatha has one, but I guess he's out now, and Russ has one. Technically we'll have three if we get this one, but one of them is the Throne of Death, which I haven't claimed yet. Um, need seven to win. We'll have to think about where we go next. Um, but yeah, for now we'll just we'll see what this throne is, we'll try attacking it. Um, bringing quite a lot of stuff. Just because we have quite a lot of stuff here. Uh, I've got tons of camels, a bunch of Ifrit and Jin, got some snakes. I've got 102 tiny fire elementals behind... What is this, like 30 uh, Phantasmal Warriors? We've got lots of units. We're fighting into Fire Snakes, Fire Drakes, and Claymen. The fire guys are going to be resistant to a bit of our fire damage. The claymen, not so much. Uh, they do regen. Claymen also have spirit sight, which might be annoying. It might knock invis off my dudes or however it works. Oh no, you can't knock it off. Okay. That's fine then. It's kind of interesting that they have spirit sight. And the big wild card is going to be the nature of kings in this fight. Because who knows what that guy's going to do. But the plan is just, um, we do vapor warriors and flaming arrows on turn 1 and 2. And then most people just do a Phantasma Knight or something and then they spam Greater Warp Armor. 
They'll spam out quite a few of those and then just go off script and do whatever they want, I suppose. Uh, the Sultans, meanwhile, are going to do fire orbs and then spam some pillars of flame. That should take out a lot of the archers and militia and stuff like that. Uh, everyone's on hold and fire large monsters, hold and attack large monsters. We'll try and uh, get the Netcher killed quickly. I think you guys are going to do little swarms. Uh, and that's about it. Everyone else has got more or less the same script. I just want to make sure that all my guys have a bunch of flaming arrows and vapor warriors on them. And then, uh, yep, we'll walk forwards. Let's we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it goes fine. And hopefully it's a nice throne. What else is left that hasn't been claimed yet? Uh, there's air, water, earth. It'll be pretty good. Yeah. I don't mind any of those. Uh, and that's pretty much it for this turn. We've taken Wesh now. I guess I'll get a temple down here one day, but it's not a hugely important province. Uh, the big deal down here will just be making sure this throne's safe and taking Hidden Realm finally. I've got my Shaitan going over to corrupt whatever's here. I still cannot see a commander in the log text. So I I don't know. I don't know what the commander is here. Um, but we'll take this province finally. Uh, start defending these thrones. We'll have a third throne. We'll start setting up defense in. And then we've still got the same sort of targets. Get construction done, get some globals up. And then we have to attack someone else to get more thrones. We're down to, what is this, six players already? People have just been dropping in this game. But Pan clearly has the most throne access that we can easily get to. Just a question, can we just fight through his stuff and take all three of these thrones quickly? I'm not sure. We do have a lot of stuff over here. Something to think about, I suppose. Um, other little things happening are just buildings. Um, we've got stuff going up in Mudwoods. Palisades nearly finished. Labs going up now. Uh, I've got a temple going down in Green Waters. And that's it for this turn. Uh, we do have full research, uh, full recruitment this turn as well. The research is going to keep ticking over nicely. Uh, and I'm the last person to take my turn, so see you in a moment. Hello, welcome back. I uh, did some site searching, we found one with no more uh, magma cave that gives you a fire gem and an earth gem. Uh, I've got to mention, because we got sent a pair of earth boots last turn, so I thought, what's a good use for earth boots? I don't know, stick them on an E1 guy and start casting no more everywhere. <laughs> That's good, paid off already. Uh, we currently have about, what, like 200 earth gems or something? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, cured more disease, I'm in some more stuff as usual. Uh, Sarah declared a new prophet. I think Stramata are out of the game though, right? Yeah, they were on Aber, I remember. Yeah, so this is AI Saramatia, whose prophet is named AI Nia, so that's pretty fitting. Anyway, let's get to the battle in Giant's Rest. Uh, look at our army, isn't our army just beautiful? Look at this. What an amazing army. Doesn't make a great thumbnail. <laughs> um, we do some big flame orbs this time as well, I quite like. Here come the, the flame orbs. Boom. <laughs> That's pretty satisfying. Uh, there's all the pillars of flame as well. In drop the gin from space. Oh, this is a massacre. There's a nature over here. He's getting chopped up pretty badly. How's your fatigue? 74. He's not too bad. He's dead though. Clash of the snakes. Let's speed it up. Yeah, that was pretty satisfying. I guess we summoned a griffin in this battle. <laughs> we have that as a spell. Um, so that was Giant's Rest. So we didn't lose any commanders. Uh, okay, pretty big throne. We lost 24 fire elementals, that's okay. A couple of horned serpents. Uh, some phantasmal warriors. And 16 camels. Not sure how the camels died exactly. That's a shame. Uh, uh, yeah, other than that, that's great. And we knew it was the throne of... Wait, did we know it was the throne of water? It's the throne of water. Um, so that gives us three more water gems, some hydromancers, uh, and our blessed troops get defense plus three. Also boosts water at ritual range. 
Um, that's actually quite useful for the Living Mercury's thing, isn't it? Good to know. Uh, events then. In Gladewood, local lords are feuding. In Neotha, we got more income. And in Trollland, a Prospector Genius found 126 gold. That's nice. Uh, we're starting to starve in Giant's Rest, but that's okay. Oh yeah, Throne of Water. That works well with our plans to uh, <laughs> cast Guardians of the Deep. Uh, okay, so this turn, relatively simple now. Uh, we still have provinces to take though, still got the Hidden Realm to take. We can finally actually see the commander here. It's a Shade Lord. Um, Shade Lords are not mages that I can see. They're just guys with, um, they have two, they have Spirit Sight and they have magic attacks though. They have like a, a Death Rod and stuff like that. So uh, they might actually take out our Jin and our Shaitan in a fight, I don't know. Um, they're scripted to just spam a lot of Phantasmal Knights. And then on turn 3 they'll do improved Fireflies. The Shade Lord has no protection and no fire resistance, so might do some damage. And then just last turn they'll safety give themselves fire shield. Uh, yeah, maybe we can corrupt that, guys. Uh, if we can't corrupt them, uh, we're also sending in the, the big boys. They're going to take this province finally. I'm just sending all my efforts and all my uh, gin and everyone over here. It's in the region. Because um, the next thing they might do is take this province back from Burgos. I'm not sure. Um, so let's just group them up. We're almost at, we have so much research per turn. This is like the most research I've ever done in a game. Um, we're going to get Conjuration 6 next turn. So all of my F2 mages can start summoning Salamanders. Uh, which would be pretty good. Um, that's, that'll free up the Sultan guys. Because I was just going to have Sultan sitting in forts doing fire elementals. But once we can do Salamanders with the F2s, that's probably better. Um, so the Sultans can just start flying around. Securing our territory. Uh, they might still just live in forts though, to be honest. Uh, other movements, putting some stuff in Mudwood now. This fort is becoming quite nicely defended. Uh, we'll set this one up the same. The Palisades will be finished this turn. We'll get that upgraded. Start summoning some stuff here. Uh, I've started moving some mages over to do more summons here. Uh, I'll prioritize recruitment in these two forts over any other location. Uh, and this other big arrow that's moving down is just a priest. I'm just moving a priest all the way down to west to put a temple up here. Because why not? Since there's a fort there, might as well start pushing out Dominion from that point. Uh, our Dominion is up to 9 now, which is quite nice. Uh, let's get it up to 10. Uh, over here, in Giant's Rest, I'm going to claim the throne. And then I'm just leaving behind enough stuff to do some searching, so... we have got these guys going to stay behind. This will be F4, Earth 3, Earth 2, Astral 1, Nature 1, and Holy 1, I guess. It's a lot of searching. We'll search it, claim it. Try to get buildings up on it over the next few turns. And while we're doing that, yep, goals are still just to get research done. Research is going to go very fast, I think. And uh, then we'll put up our globals, and by that point, all our thrones should be nicely defended, and we can attack someone else. That's the plan, anyway. We might get attacked before then. Uh, <laughs> who knows? But that's still how things stand. Uh, we have so many gems. We have 300 Earth Gems, 217 Water Gems. They'll be useful though. Uh, yeah, about 200 Gems in lots of things. We're using a lot of our Pearls on summoning our Mages and a lot of our, our Gems on Quills. Um, but that's, they're a bit lower. 183 Blood Slaves. I mean, we could empower three people as Blood Hunters and just start Blood Hunting if we wanted to. I'm not sure what for though is the thing. The Blood Spells didn't like blow me away when I looked at them. There's probably some good stuff in here. Maybe if we were just something like loads of um, Kira's, whatever they're called. These guys. This gives you a commander. If we could summon a car every turn, that would be pretty good, right? I'm not sure. I'd probably just forge lots of lifelong protections, to be honest. Uh, yeah, but that's how things stand, and that's it for this turn. Is there anything else to mention? I don't think so. My god is just going to site search White Harbor because it hasn't been searched at all yet. I don't think we're doing anything else. Still just summons, regular spells, alquils, uh, foreign jaw, and claim the throne. Yep. Uh, so that was turn 38. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hello, welcome back. Uh, we got research in conjuration and construction done. We're doing 879 per month at the moment. We're going to blow through construction, I think. 
Uh, Conjuration 6 gives us a bunch of uh, cool stuff. We can do summon salamanders, 8 for 2 gems. Um, I think Ermor must have some kind of national version of this. It was really early. Because they have tons of salamanders. Um, and I saw them mention in the Discord that they just realized that uh, they have upkeep. So I assume his economy is suffering because he's summoned so many. So we'll have to keep an eye on uh, upkeep when we start summoning these guys. We've also got a national one which is Angry War Trolls, which might be quite cool. It's 2+, plus and it scales, but it scales with um, Earth. We have a lot of Earth Fire Mages, but the Earth is quite low on them. So, a bit of a shame. We'll try it out though. Uh, Bishop Fisher in here. Bishop Fish is guaranteed um, in the mod, just to make sure that you can always get Bishop Fish. Because you need them. Uh, only Water 2. We've got an underwater lab, so we can get those out if we need them. Uh, anything else in here? Some weird stuff like uh, Moon Mages, but we need a big death spell to do them. Uh, summon Troll Shaman. This requires nature and uh, and 36 nature gems. We don't have that, unfortunately. Uh, let's get to some construction done, though. It should go quite quickly. We did lots of site searching. We found uh, a burial mound with dark knowledge for a death gem. And all the site searching we did on the throne, we only found an enchanted gate for a pearl. Better than nothing, I suppose. Uh, and then we failed to corrupt Dimu the Shade Lord. We did kill him, though. Uh, in this case, the Phantasmal Knights are a bit unnecessary. He just insta-gives them. And we whip the fiend to death. And then we do what I wanted to do a long time ago, which is just cast fireflies and blow him up. Um, so there we go. Uh, and then there was nothing else here. He was the only commander, so we took Hidden Realm for nothing. So there we go. 77 income with the gold deposits. It's quite nice to finally have that. Uh, events then, Resting Heights. Uh, we now have slave labor, slave labor in Resting Heights. Yeah. Uh, Ubar found a treasure, 810 gold, bunch of gems, and a whip of command. It's quite nice. And two air gems and Amol. We finished the palisades in mud wood. Uh, yeah, got a whip of command. It's a whip that gives you command. And uh, <laughs> Taskmaster. But it's good for leading our slave troops. Uh, and that's it for messages. Uh, our plan is still the same. Uh, we're still just going to reinforce our thrones. We've got Nom here, looking nice. We're doing summon salamanders here now, in addition to Horn Serpents. We're recruiting some camels every turn, so we've got quite a bit of stuff here now. That's looking a bit safer. We've got all the uh, Jin and the Ifrit nearby. They're going to move up to try and do something about Burgos, I suppose. I might try corrupting them, I might not, I don't know. Might be a bit too dangerous. Probably better to just walk in and kill the commanders and get their items that way. Uh, Mudwood's going to get upgraded now. And again, we're doing summon salamanders here and horn serpents. And I'll try and do a bit of recruitment when I can, but still a, a low fort at the moment. Uh, and over here, I've started a palisades in Giant's Rest. Uh, can't afford anything else. These guys are just going to do some patrolling. Um, wonder if um, it's so tempting to just hit this province with um, living mercury, just to be annoying. But um, I, I think. Don't scouts say now, if you have a scout in a province and a fort is being built, doesn't it say it in the message here? Yeah, it'd be funny if you started building a fort and I just hit the province with Mercury's. Because um, technically you wouldn't know who cast it, because it's uh, an independent thing. Um, I don't know, it would just be funny to be annoying, I suppose. Um, yeah, but other than that, nothing much else is happening. Um, we're just going to get construction next, so we'll start forging some items. Uh, and once the thrones are full up with summons, and we've got our globals up, we'll start thinking about who to attack next. Um, and it, I think it would be, I don't know, the person who has the most throne access is Pan. But I assume they're going to be the hardest to fight into. So I'm not sure. Maybe we can try and just grab a few like weakly defended thrones off a few other people. But we need four to win. I'm not sure what we do yet exactly. So I'm just going to keep my head down for now and just get some research done. I think that's okay. Um, and if someone attacks us, well, we've got lots of force sitting around that we can do stuff with, so that should be okay. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it for this turn. I'm still waiting for my magic scales to push over here. It's kind of weird. We're up to 8 dominion strength. All no magic. That kind of sucks. Um, here's all my mages in um, Sinafi now, by the way. Just a big army of um, one of their cloud mages or with like owl quills doing research. 
pretty nice. Ah uh, yeah, that was turn 39. Um, I hope it's not too dull at the moment, but a couple more turns we'll start doing some more interesting stuff I think. Uh, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.